With or without onions, sliced, whole, with fries or a bread roll, Berlin's curried sausage is the stuff of legend. Some 800 million of them are consumed in Germany every year, and 70 million in Berlin alone, at the popular Curry 36 snack bar in the multicultural Kreuzberg neighborhood, for example. Petra Bowden went behind the scenes at Curry 36 and four other snack bars to research the curried sausage phenomenon and find out what exactly makes it so popular in the German capital. Since German reunification, the currywurst has enjoyed massive hype and cult status. But when it's mentioned in guidebooks and in media, it's only in terms of where is the tastiest or the most authentic and so on. There's nothing about its history. And that's what interested me the most. So Petra talked to customers, vendors and experts and even sifted through archives. In the course of her research, she found out that the taste is only part of Currywurst's appeal. In the many years I've spent researching Currywurst, I've never once seen anyone eating it while on the go. I think eating a curried sausage is a social ritual. You eat it standing with people from all sections of society, all ages, men and women. It's easy to get in a conversation. Between ordering, waiting, and eating, Petra has always had plenty of time to collect anecdotes for her book. The unique atmosphere at Currywurst snack bars attracts all sorts of people, from students to bankers, tourists, and locals. Back in Paris, I read in a guidebook that you can get the best Currywurst in town here. That's why we're here. It's the first time I've tried it, and it's really delicious. Pretty much what I expected. Probably a little bit better than what I expected. It's definitely worth the trip. We're visiting from Cologne for a few days, so obviously we thought we should try some currywurst. It's a lot more tomatoey and spicier than the Cologne version. The first currywurst was sold in Berlin in 1949. A number of cities dispute whether it was the first in Germany. The actual sausage is only secondary. The main thing is the sauce. Every snack bar boasts its own special recipe, and the original was even patented. Hertha Heuwe was the first snack bar owner in Berlin to sell curried sausage, without skin and with a homemade sauce made of ketchup and spices. Now Berlin simply wouldn't be the same without curried sausage. In 2009, a museum dedicated to this local delicacy even opened in the city. Knopke's Imbiss in the trendy Prenzlauer Berg district was among the snack bars where Petra did her research. I was starting to live and breathe curried sausage. I even dreamt about it. But fortunately, things happened that stopped it from completely dominating my life. So the curry voice didn't take over my life, and that's why I was able to write my book. Berlin Currywurst. Anyone who's never tried it doesn't know what they're missing.